Hi guys, it is December 20, 2018. I want to thank my subscriber for linking to this GoFundMe page that was started on the 16th, four days ago, and it has raised five and a half million in four days. For what? To build a wall. And the goal? They want to get one billion dollars. They well, actually, he, Brian Colfage, I'm Colfage, uh, he is a veteran, triple amputee veteran, has a Purple Heart uh, medal. Okay, I am not saying anything about this veteran. I don't know him. I don't know what motivates him. I don't know his intentions. I have to go by what he has claimed here on his GoFundMe page, which is obviously he wants this wall built. And well, you know, first it was Mexico was going to pay for the wall. And then, well, sorry about that. The American taxpayer is going to pay for the wall. And now, GoFundMe. Americans donating to getting this wall built, you'll pay for it. Uh, um, you know what upsets me is that you can barely get a couple of thousand dollars to help people, tens of thousands, who lost everything, everything, in 24 hours in one little area of the United States, Paradise, California. You even get ridiculed, insulted, shamed for posting videos trying to help them. But Americans, boom, they're right out there. I'll donate to get that wall. Are you kidding me? This wall, crazy stuff, has been going on for decades. If the United States, can Americans get that if the United States wanted to protect that border, it would be protected. Our immigration laws would be enforced. We have plenty of resources to keep out certainly the majority who want to come in to this country illegally. But no, you're going to believe that we just can't get it done without a wall. This is such utter insanity. And when I see in four days, five and a half million raised for this wall. Yeah, it really upsets me when we have so many Americans who are so struggling. We've got the resources to help them. We have the money to help them. But our priorities are so unbelievably messed up that we will help people all over the world. We, we give $35 billion a year to other countries to help them out. But we can't seem to help Americans who are here legally. We can't seem to help them out. Do you not understand how played you are? You know, we have, we have the technology. If my computer would work, we have, we had Bush, Bush, uh, construct a virtual wall, technology. We had uh, electronic sensors. We still do, by the way, um, which will spring into life anyone who crosses the border. It will send alarm signals to a nearby tower in matters uh, in, in the matter of seconds, radar, infrared, camera can sweep in. We have technology to track ordinary Americans 
every day, every time they put on their cell phone or and other surveillance that tracks Americans, but we can't seem to figure out how to use this technology to protect our borders. Information travels in microwaves to a control room and human patrolmen are sent coordinates and images to let them detect the subject is harmed. Wow! Images to let them detect whether or not the subject is harmed. Now this was over a decade ago. All right. Um, yeah, technology. We are we are looking to build a wall when we have the technology that can protect our border. We have laws that, if they were enforced, can protect our border. We have now states giving sanctuary to illegal immigrants. Why aren't you going after your state legislators that have created these sanctuary states and demand that they enforce the law? Why do you have state legislators that you elected, that you pay their salary, and they allow illegal immigrants to stay in your state, giving them protection, while the American taxpayer and the residents of those states are actually footing the bill to help those illegal immigrants, but you're focused on the wall. You have a governor in California who allows illegal immigrants to get driver's license, vote, um, and you spend an enormous amount in California alone. Oh, let me bring up that map that I have or that graph or that, that uh, picture of the map that shows how much states are are spending to help illegal immigrants out. Your money. South Carolina spends $629.7 million. California, you're spending $23 billion for your illegal immigrants. That money could be used, wow, maybe to help the ever-rising number of the homeless in California, the fires that have left tens, tens of thousands of people without a home, losing everything. Oh, but they're now homeless, and many of them are struggling to uh, rebuild their lives. But you spend $23 billion to make sure that the illegal residents in California are okay. Twenty uh, or $2.3 billion in Arizona, $11 billion in Texas. $7.5 billion in New York. How about uh, $2 billion in Washington? $1.2 billion in Oregon. $1.6 billion Colorado. $1.6 billion Nevada. And is it $6.3 billion in Florida? So, what is the total number of how much you are spending? Illegal immigration costs California $23 billion, all states $89 billion. And all of those states that put that money towards towards 
illegal immigration welfare and then you're spending billions on just trying to get this wall built? Does that sound intelligent? Do you understand that this wall drama has been going on since 1965? 1965, Johnson changed the preference of immigration law from country of Oregon, from Europe to Mexico. Do you think that change was just brought about because we have this special relationship with Mexico? Or was it motivated by something else? Could it have been motivated by the United Nations, the bringing about of the New World Order, the United Nations, the One World Government, the United Nations, that government dictating to countries migration policies. But you're not going to look into that, right? You're just going to allow your federal government and state governments take your money to fund, fund and help out all of the illegal immigrants coming from Mexico and Central America. I can't believe the abject stupidity going on here in this country. And any American who actually believes that we need a wall, we desperately need that wall to keep out illegal immigrants, that we have not been able, not been able to protect our borders, the United States government has been completely unsuccessful. We just cannot protect our border without a wall. Oh my God, I, I don't know how to address this kind of idiocy. You can check out the, the, the history. So Johnson decides that we now have to start giving preference to immigrants from Mexico and the European immigrants, well, you're no longer a priority. Nixon launches Operation Intercept and mandates surprise individual <clears throat> inspections of any and all border crossings, plane, car, or foot. Thousands of agents are dispatched to the Mexican border virtually shutting down illegal immigration by car for the first time. In the 1980s, there's a brief lull of enforcement. Pedestrians and cars are stopped intermittently. Why? What happened? Our government just stopped enforcing immigration law. 1993, Clinton mandates the construction of a 13-mile border wall that cost $39 million and it was projected to reduce border apprehensions from 100,000 per day to 5,000 per day for those 13 miles. 13 miles. The North American Free Trade Agreement passes. Large agricultural areas are devastated by low-cost competition with the United States industrial agriculture. A new surge of immigration heads northward into the United States, swamping the border patrols. Wow. Okay. So our domestic and foreign policy creates an awful lot of mess that we ignore we ignore the United States government destroying an awful lot of Mexico and Central America. And that destruction of their economies 
left an awful lot of people wanting to come into this country just to feed their children. But we'll ignore that. We've got to get that wall up. There's so it's so intricate and everything is connected. Um, Clinton signs the Illegal Immigration Reform and Responsibility Act in 1996, increasing fines for illegal entry and approving funding for more patrols and fence construction. Immigrants shift away from the traditional crossing into privately held land, causing landowners to fence their property. Bush approves increasing border patrols from 10,000 to 20,000 in 2008. Well, in 2001, border security becomes a national security issue, but it takes seven years to increase border patrol. Really? Are we really this stupid? Or are we being played by the great psychopaths and narcissists who just continue to lie to you, gaslight you, manipulate you all over the place, and you fall for it. With each administration, you fall for it. 2004, U.S. Border Patrol announces that 325 people died crossing the border from Mexico in one year. No more deaths. No more deaths. That's the campaign that starts. All these people are dying crossing the border. So you have religious organizations getting involved to aid the migrants. 2005, more than 1 million people are arrested crossing into the United States from Mexico. More than 500 die crossing. 2006, Bush signs the Secure Fence Act, promising 700 miles of fencing on the border plus a virtual wall, wall across the entire 2,000-mile border. 2007, Department of Homeland Security argues it is impossible to construct the same type of fencing. Well, are you, really? In 2007, we're still this unbelievably stupid that we still can't protect our southern border? The Department of Homeland Security gets $12 billion in funding. Uh, that is on top of the funding for barriers, including fencing and physical barriers and roads and lighting and cameras. 2008, U.S. announces that a second section of the barriers, section of the barrier had been mistakenly built from one to six feet inside Mexican territory. It must be removed. Uh, Congress approves the Department of Homeland Security's right to circumvent more than 30 environmental laws in a push to get fencing constructed by year's end. 2009, the Great Recession kicks off. The first outflow of now they're returning to their countries because guess what? Our economy is, well, spiraling downward. Now we have an outflow. They want to return to their countries. Uh, the United States peak of 12 million illegal residents begin to decline at the rate of 300,000 per year. That was in 2009. In 2010, uh, the New York Times writes that over the previous four years, five uh, or 51 unauthorized tunnels running under the border walls. What are you going to do about that? What about those tunnels? We all know that they have tunnels where illegal immigrants are crossing. Drug traffickers use them to bring drugs into the United States. The wall is really going to stop illegal immigration. 2011, Department of Homeland Security completes 649 miles of barriers, including 350 miles of pedestrian fencing at an estimated cost of 6.5 million per mile and 299 miles of vehicle barriers that cost approximately 1.7 million per mile. But 
One billion spent on a pilot program for virtual surveillance in Arizona yields only 53 miles of coverage. And the Obama administration cuts funding for the rest of the hyper-expensive virtual wall. 2014, Central and South America send massive numbers of refugees into Mexico heading north for the United States. Number of non-Mexicans crossing the border illegally exceeds the number of Mexicans for the first time. 2015, patrols report that 3,000 human remains have been found on the Arizona border since the wall's construction began. No more deaths. That campaign picks up again. 2016 Pew Research reports that more people from the United States are going to Mexico than the other way around. And Scott Walker, Wisconsin governor, uh, says that there are legitimate concerns about security along the country's 5,525-mile 5 northern border and that he would support building a wall between the United States and Canada. 2017, Trump renews his vow to build a great, great wall across the rest of the 2,000-mile border. Executive orders call for an increase of 5,000 Border Patrol agents and 10,000 Immigration and Customs Enforcement or ICE officers above the 21,000 already employed and still. What do we have? We have an awful lot of illegal immigrants and Democrats uh, just wanting to give them amnesty and United Nations, it's clear, I've posted videos on this, the United Nations has that global migration pact which countries are signing and allowing migrants to come in to Western countries from anywhere and it's going to be a kumbaya new world order and it's all deliberate. It's all deliberate. So this deliberate agenda to bring migrants from other countries to get them into Western countries in particular so that they destroy those countries, Western countries. The, the, one of the goals of the United Nations is to cure poverty and how they're going to do it is to equalize, bring in a universal income for everyone. Yes, let's get rid of poverty by bringing down the standard of living for everyone. And one of the ways in which they do that is to bring migrants over, allow them to cross borders, and get the people in those countries who were there illegally to foot the bill for them, which only destroys the whole uh, welfare state of the country and it just continues to destroy that nation's economy. And nobody can seem to see this. Oh my God, you guys can. The wall is not going to do a friggin' thing because this is a deliberate agenda. It's not going to stop. The wall, by the way, the construction of the wall you want to put, you want to donate this construction. It might be done at some point in another administration's when someone else is in the White House. Um, we have the technology. We have the technology to stop this. Technology is a definitive first. These are things that can be used on any part of the border. There are places where you can't, you can't put up a wall. <laughs> it's like so primitive. The wall is just a, a, a this. It's so unbelievably primitive considering the technology that we do have. Trump proposed 2.9 billion for border 
security. So you have this, you know, <laughs> left-right fight going on. It's all staged. So Americans fight one another. The military, the Department of Defense, they have the technology to protect our border. Why don't they use it? Because Americans are just too stupid to get our Defense Department to use it. They still believe the wall is going to be the answer. Oh my God. We've got drones. We've got electromagnetic frequencies. We've got microwaves. We've got helicopters, infrared sensors. We've got video cameras. Uh, we can deploy an array of technology to protect our border. But yeah, let's do that wall. Let's do the wall. Let's get more money from the American taxpayer, the billions and billions and billions that they have already taken from you to construct that wall over the decades. They just couldn't manage to get it done. And you're, yeah, the American people are just too unbelievably stupid to realize that more and more and more and more of their money is just being stolen. You're told, hey, we're going to use this money to protect you. And somehow you have less and less protection. And then when you think about these friggin' Democrats, right? <laughs> it's amazing. We are a nation of immigrants, and we should all be proud of it. But we're also a nation of laws. It is wrong and ultimately self-defeating for a nation of immigrants to permit the kind of abuse of our immigration laws. Not only in the states most heavily affected, but in every place in this country are rightly disturbed by the large numbers of illegal aliens entering our country. That's why our administration has moved aggressively to secure our borders more, by hiring a record number of new border guards, by deporting twice as many criminal aliens as ever before. Families who enter our country the right way and play by the rules watch others flout the rules. People who enter the United States without our permission are illegal aliens, and illegal aliens should not be treated the same as people who entered the U.S. legally. And because we live in an age where terrorists are challenging our borders, we cannot allow people to pour into the U.S. undetected, undocumented, and unchecked. We've got to do several things, and I am, you know, adamantly against illegal immigrants. Certainly, we've got to do more at our borders, and people have to stop employing illegal immigrants. And we're working to make sure that we have sufficient facilities to detain, house, and process them appropriately. And it is unlikely that their children will be able to stay. And I've asked parents across Central America not to put their children in harm's way. The president's decision to end DACA was heartless and it was brainless. Hundreds, hundreds of thousands of families will be ripped apart. Meanwhile, what's happening to families at the border is horrific. This is a moral and humanitarian crisis. All right. Um, so... What also is really upsetting is that it doesn't seem, whether Republican or Democrat, it does not seem that the American people are capable of hearing these guys that they claim are their leaders flip-flopping all over, all over. Now the Democrats are reversing their position on immigration or illegal immigration, the, the children and the people who are crossing the border. But do you remember, not too long ago, this woman saying this? 
And many children are fleeing from that violence. Should they be able to stay here? It's well, safer. It, it may be safer, but that's not the answer. I do not. So should they be sent back? They, well, first of all, we have to provide the best emergency care we can provide. We have children five and six years old who have come up from Central America. We need to do more to provide border security in so southern Mexico. They should be sent back now. Well, they should be sent back as soon as it can be determined who responsible adults and their families are because there are concerns about whether all of them can be sent back. But okay, I but do you hear this five, six years old who are crossing the border illegally without adults? They say these things to pull at your heartstrings, but clearly there is something very wrong with that. They make it sound like these five and six years old they, that they just decided, all right, I can't make it here, so I'm going to go to the United States without any adult G telling them how to get across this border. They're lying to you. The children that you see on mainstream media, it's all a manipulation. It's all a manipulation. I think all of them who can be should be reunited with their families. And just as Vice President Biden is arguing today in Central America, we've got to do more. I started this when I was secretary to deal with the violence in this region, to deal with border security. But we have to send a clear message. Just because your child gets across the border, that doesn't mean the child gets to stay. So we don't want to send a message that is contrary to uh, our laws or will encourage more children to make that dangerous journey. More children to make that dangerous journey. Five, six-year-olds. All right. Okay. You know what? These are the same people who have destroyed the economies in those countries. And... Biden in Central America, Biden, a new world order guy, Biden, who takes his dictates from the United Nations and the Vatican, who's in Central America helping to organize the massive caravans coming into this country. Yeah, it's, uh, you think we'll ever get anywhere with these people who just, continue to lie to the American people and they'll say one thing one day and then they'll go against what they said another day. They have no principles. They only have an agenda. And because the American people can't seem to see through that, they get to do whatever the hell they want to do. It's become so obvious now. You know, listen to Pelosi. Nancy Pelosi says voting for Democrats is the only way to give leverage to illegal immigrants. Uh, we are not going to be able to get it done under the Republican uh, leadership in Congress. We believe that we will have leverage when we win in November. And why that's important? Because it gives leverage to every family, to every mom who courageously brought her child across the desert to escape. The House Minority Leader making the comment. So you Democrats voting for... Democrats, you vote for these people. Their agenda is to give leverage to illegal immigrants. That you then have to foot the bill to educate their children, to give them medical care, housing, all kinds of subsidies. Does this sound wise, intelligent? Are we really this stupid? Clearly, we are. Clearly, we are. Oh, yeah, and this guy. Now, we all agree on the need to better secure the border and to punish employers who choose to hire illegal immigrants. Uh, you know, we are a generous and welcoming people here in the United States, but those who enter the country illegally and those who employ them disrespect the rule of law, uh, and they are showing disregard for those who are following the law. Uh, we simply cannot allow people to pour into the United States undetected, undocumented, unchecked,
and circumventing the line of people who are waiting patiently, diligently, and lawfully uh, to become immigrants in this country. Now, now the latest thing, they're, 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 convinced, they're trying to convince everybody to be afraid of a bunch of impoverished, malnourished refugees a thousand miles away. That, that's, the, that's the thing that, that is the most important thing in this election, not health care, not, not uh, you know, whether or not folks are, are able to retire, not, not you know, doing something about higher wages or rebuilding our roads and bridges and putting people back to work. Suddenly, it's this group of folks, we don't even know where they are, they're way down there. Yeah, this group of folks that we have no clue who they are. Yeah, uh, now he's, hey, that's not our problem. When years ago he was saying we should not let people into the country without knowing who they are. All right, you know, I'm sorry. When you get played by these people over and over and over again, and you see the American people who are... Um, so uh, involved in the drama and they're just allowing themselves to be so degraded by actually thinking that these people are somehow intelligent and they're going to help them, protect them, uh, you keep voting for them. It's, it's so, it's such a disgrace what we have become because they tell us, they tell us Hey, I'm a narcissist. I'm a psychopath. I will lie to you. I will kill, kill children, dropping bombs on them with my drone strikes. I will tell you that I'm doing this, but then I go off and do the opposite, and you're a schmuck because I've made it so obvious. And you just <laughs> keep buying the shit I tell you. Yeah. Yeah. We've got millions and millions and millions of Americans struggling to pay their bills, lucky enough to be in their homes. We've got millions just this past year who have lost their homes due to flooding and fires and somehow we can't seem to figure out how to help them. Oh, Red Cross is. No, it's not. Oh, FEMA is. No, it's not. The American people really desperately need to come together and help one another. But nope, we're not going to do that. But we will donate five and a half million in four days to get that wall built. When it will not, not keep illegal immigrants out of this country because it is a deliberate agenda. And we don't need a wall because we have so much technology that could be used immediately if, if it was actually genuine that we wanted to protect our, our country and, well, keep illegal immigrants from crossing that southern border. No wall is necessary. Enforcement of our immigration laws. States no longer protecting illegal immigrants. And if anybody, or if the American people would just simply take a step back and do some research to realize, wow, there were an awful lot of organizations involved in bringing that migrant caravan over. And those organizations were organized by the United Nations with the help of government officials 
not just in those countries like Guatemala, Honduras, El Salvador, but also United States government officials. No, a wall will do friggin' nothing. I wish to hell I could post a GoFundMe. What I would do with that five and a half million? How many of my subscribers I could help? Of those who have lost their home? Animals? It's a disgrace what we have become.